A lot of people see what we do on the court. Let's talk about what we do off the court. Who do you think is the best dancer on the team? Uh, hands down, the best dancer is me. And Biko, uh, for you, how important is the is the fan support in, in Connie form for all games? You know, the Dukes, the Carolinas, and also, you know, the, the Bryants and the Holy Crosses. How, how important is the fan support throughout the entire year? Um, it's very important. I mean, it's always nice to look in the stands and see a lot of people rooting for you and going for you and wanting to see you do well. So that's always a bonus. Um, I feel as if you play a lot harder and a lot better when there's more fans in the stands. There are rumors here, Biko. I just want to tell the viewers that you were thinking about singing the national anthem at either the girls or guys game. Oh no, that's 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 just a tr that's just a joke I play on um, <laughs> on, on Danny. He, he falls for oh. anything. He's very gullible. So okay. I, I lie to him all the time, just joking with him, and he's he, he gets into it because what Danny he, he falls for anything. Who do you think is the messiest kid, both maybe eating food or locker wise? Who do you think is the messiest kid on the team? I'd have to go with Joe. Joe is that Joe Trapani? Yes. There's no other Joe on the team. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, who do you think is the, the best and maybe worst dresser on the team? Like they said before, I said best is probably a three-way tie. Corey, Reggie, and Beak. Uh, worst? I don't know. You're pretty bad, dude. <laughs> oh, not as bad as your hair. <laughs> oh my God. Um, is, there, is there a ritual that you, that you specifically do or that someone else does? Um, and also, is there like a... a a music song you listen to? Um, luckily, I don't. I don't. Have, I don't even bring an iPod. I just if I sit close enough to Biko, I just can hear what he's playing. So, I, whatever Biko's listening to that day, that's what I go with. It. Yeah, that's so. good. You know, obviously, we haven't seen you play this year. You, we know you're gonna make an impact. Uh, you actually seen me play, Bruce. <sighs> what would be your hobbies? You know, outside of basketball. Um, outside of basketball, uh, I like to cut hair. I, um. Actually, cut, you know, Reggie's hair, Biko's, Corey's. You know, I cut a lot of players' hair on the team. And isn't it true that you actually cut your own hair? Yeah, I do cut my own. That, hair. That's a pretty, pretty cool talent. And what do you think about um, kind of your guys' new haircuts or your kind of dedication to the uh, to, to the to the new uh, hairdo? I mean, it's something different. Uh, something we wanted to do. I was go with the flat top, and we got Gabe involved with it. Matt was supposed to be involved, but uh, he punked out, so it's just the three of us. The viewers haven't seen Matt play this year due to the fact he's a transfer, and there's many rules that say once you transfer, you have to sit out of the year, so we'll be able to see Matt next year. And there's been a lot of talk with pregame ritual. You actually have a, a specific pregame ritual, and would you mind telling the viewers what it is? I mean, I uh, take a nap and listen to one song repeatedly. One song repeatedly, and you do it before every single game? Every game. That's good. I'm here with Eagles point guard, swing man, big man, four, one through five man, Reggie Jackson. Um, Reggie, where are you from? All around the world, baby, you know what I'm saying? Uh, born in Italy, moved to England, North Dakota, Florida, Georgia, Colorado. I mean, I'm always on the move, so everywhere. Wow, pretty uh, seasoned traveler. How important is the fan support uh, at County Forum for, for all the games? Uh, I think it's really important. I think it's. I think uh, we feed off the crowd and the energy that they bring. So the more the merrier. Good. Who do you think is the team's biggest rival this year or in, in past years as well? Um, well, with this team, I feel like um, you know North Carolina. We haven't lost to North Carolina, so uh, and you know they're obviously known as a national power. So.